Well, first of all, I'm very happy that we now, today, decided to have uh, the first uh, EU military uh, assistance mission, training mission to Ukraine. This is a big step forward and it's probably going to be the biggest uh, CSDP mission ever done by the, by the EU. And in a time where Ukraine has so much uh, need of our support, uh, not least with, with training and equipment, I'm happy that we can provide that from the EU side. Uh, we're talking about thousands of thousands of Ukrainian troops that has to be trained now uh, in, in, in the EU. Um, and I'm also very happy that we managed in Denmark to have almost unanimously support for the uh, mission. Uh, only one party, as I recall, uh, were against it, but the vast majority from left to right and center uh, is in favor. Uh, so I'm happy that we are here today. How we can contribute from the Danish side, uh, we have to also wait until we have our, our election held. We have an election on November 1st in Denmark in two weeks' time. And after that, immediately after that, we will uh, decide with the, with the parties in, in the parliament what, how we can contribute. But we want to contribute. We also want to ensure that the training mission uh, is done in coordination with other initiatives, uh, bilateral, multilateral initiative, which Denmark and other countries are part of as well. So it adds value to already existing uh, military training missions and also missions of delivering weapons and other things to Ukraine. And the delivery of weapons that you just mentioned, so the EPF, the facility is kind of running down money. How, how did, did you have a discussion about this today with your colleagues? Um, because the last tranche was just agreed on another yeah. 500 million. Yes. Um, well, first of all, I'm, 500 million is a substantial amount of money. I'm very happy that we agreed upon this today. Um, and you're right, uh, we now have spent a lot of money uh, from, from the facility to Ukraine uh, and we will be happy to engage in discussion of, of how to ensure the facility which has a global uh, yeah, outlook um, when, when in due time. But right now we are focusing on, on Ukraine and we are focusing on, um, on how we can provide, um, I mean in this, in this sense, you know, weapons but also uh, repairing weapons uh, yeah, and, and exactly in the last France here giving some new opportunities to support Ukraine uh, and then we have to see uh, how we can uh, when needed supply more money but that is not something we we engage in right now but Denmark's policy is clear we want to have the toughest sanctions against Russia as possible that we can agree upon we want to have the most support also with military equipment to Ukraine so they can defend themselves within internationally recognized borders until Putin stops his, uh, its aggression, the Russian aggression. And of course, we also want to see how we can further develop and help from the EU side, uh, both on financing weapons, but also on, on um, um, different kind of economic and humanitarian support and rebuilding uh, support uh, to Ukraine. So it's also looking in the long term on how to support Ukraine financially, yes. militarily, and all this. Yes, because we, uh, are unfortunately, in for the long haul when it comes to this war, uh, although we try with all with our best means to to stop Putin rather sooner than later uh, but we have to prepare for the long haul and that is what we're doing also with the EU training mission so are you also supporting another package of sanctions that you mentioned yes we are uh, supporting another package we are generally always in favor of the toughest sanctions possible that we can get um, we are very happy with the eight packets where we have uh, also oil uh, mm -hmm. sanctioned, for example. And it's also important that the sanctions already adopted is implemented and implemented uh, effectively and also uh, in, a, in a way where it uh, is implemented the same way in all EU member states. So it's a big task for the Commission to ensure full uh, compliance to the sanctions regime uh, from all member states. That's the priority. It's making sure everyone will comply with the sanctions. That's one priority, but, but it's also a priority to have new sanctions. Okay. But, but we also, and we also want to close loopholes of, of already existing sanctions. When loopholes are discovered, we need to put them into uh, another package of sanctions. Do you have examples of loopholes? Uh, that could be like um, when we see that more oligarchs need to be on the list or more uh, Russian entities that is, for example, providing um, equipment to the military or it could be also export um, sanctions of uh, export from EU to Russia uh, critical products that is used uh, to uphold uh, 
the Russian regime and their war in Ukraine. So all of this we, we discover, I think all the time, new things that we have to correct or strengthen. And, and Denmark wants, as I said, and it's very important to emphasize, the strongest possible sanctions and we're open to any new sanctions. So you're, you, you still see room for impro so improvement and more sanctions and all yes. of this? Because some yeah. people have been criticizing the fact that there's not, not much left sanction, except for more listings and maybe some more yeah. imports like diamonds that haven't that went in the last package, for example. But that's also the, the, the sanctions that could actually have an impact on Russian economy yeah. are getting very, very slim as options. Sure, sure that, that there might be some, well, I think there's still a lot to do. And I think also more listings mm -hmm. are important. Uh, listings of people, oligarchs, others who are involved with the Russian regime. Uh, there we are not finished yet, I think. And we should continue, uh, as you also know, when we put sanctions, it's based on evidence. It's based on collecting evidence and proof that these entities or persons, uh, that we are, uh, they are eligible for sanctions. So we need to collect evidence and then put new uh, people and, and entities on the list all the time. That's our position. So we will not stop until Putin has stopped the war and Ukraine can live in peace again. What does it mean going as far as possible and not stopping until... It, because mm, is there a common mm. agreement among the 27 of what it means going as far as possible and as long as possible and all of this? Um, that you have to ask the other uh, member states about. But from the Danish side, from my side, it, it means that, that we will go as far as we can agree upon. Uh, in Europe, and we have to also uh, coordinate this effort very closely with our American, Canadian and, and UK friends and others in Asia that are supporting uh, sanctions. Uh, so, so that's why we, because we want to have maximum depth of sanctions and, and maximum, uh, in a way, spread of sanctions uh, at the same time. Uh, so that is what we fight for as one track. But, but we, uh, honestly, we have many tracks, as you know, sanctions is one. Weapons delivery and military training is another, which is, of course, right now probably the most important because that's where we enable Ukrainians to defend themselves. Uh, but there's also uh, economic support to Ukraine, which is uh, deadly needed, uh, also facing huge economic uh, challenges, uh, a drop of GDP of at least 30 percent, for example, um, and also the the budget that that the, the revenues are almost gone from the Ukrainian side. So we need to support them, but also on on what we call accountability. Denmark was uh, an initiating partner of, of uh, this group of Friends of Accountability uh, after the Russian aggression in Ukraine that we established all the way back in March. And, and we need to, to follow suit on that uh, all the time to ensure we collect evidence. Uh, one of the things we have done in Denmark uh, bilaterally is to have uh, provided money to NGOs that help NGOs in Ukraine to collect evidence of the atrocities, war crimes, in a, in a manner that they can be used in a trial afterwards. So training Ukrainian civil society organizations to do that right now is also important. So on all tracks, we want to have maximum pressure on Russia. Sorry, I have to... Sorry, yeah. Thank you so much. Have a good day.